so we have uh, did some simple pro uh, problem in previous video now we take uh, different problem find differential equation of all spheres whose center lie on the z axis okay now we will find equation of our uh, differential equation of all spheres okay which uh, <coughs> lie on the z axis so we know that equation of sphere is x minus a square plus y minus b square plus z minus c square is equal to c how we draw it suppose this is our equation of circle and when we put z axis then it will convert in the sphere equation okay so it is our equation of uh, sphere now center is lie on z axis okay if center lie on z axis then the distance from x and y is zero because on z axis or in z plane okay if i am this is uh, our z axis at this axis center at this axis and at this axis this and this axis value of this and this axis is zero at this point so therefore because <coughs> center lie on z axis value of a will be zero and value of b, b will also zero so it is x square plus y square plus z minus c square is equal to c now apply curl divide curl x curl z divided by curl x and curl z divided by curl y then we will find p and q so if we <coughs> first differentiate with respect to x okay first we will differentiate z with respect to x so this will be 2x and it is constant so 0 plus z minus c so it is a function of z so 2 will be some jump and it is z minus c raised to the power of 1 and again differentiation of this z separate and c separate so differentiation of this z is curl z divided by curl x minus differentiation of this c with respect to x so c is constant we treat it, it is at as, a, as a constant so c is 0 differentiation with respect to x of c is 0 so curl z divided by curl x we get and we know that curl x curl z divided by curl x is equal to p curl z divided by curl x is equal to p so it is p is equal to 0 sorry it is equal to r square it is radius sorry and this derivative of this radius is equal to 0 so this is our when we differentiate <laughs> with respect to x sorry for this now curl z divided by curl x is equal to p we know that so when we differentiate with respect to x we get this now again uh, we will differentiate z with respect to y then we will get q so this is our differentiation with respect to x of z now again when we differentiate this function with respect to y then we get this is a function of x so it is 0 and this is a function of y so we get 2 y minus b and <clears throat> again differentiation of y with respect to y is 1 and differentiation of this b which is constant so it is 0 ok and differentiation of this z minus c square so plus Uh, 
uh, we are dealing with z on uh, because cent, uh, central line on z axis so again this a is 0 and b is 0 so it is x square plus y square plus z minus c is equal to r square so this is differentiation with respect to x of z so it is 2x plus 2 z minus c p is equal to 0 now again differentiation of this with respect to y so we get <coughs> differentiation with respect to y it is a function of x or it is x so it is a treat as constant constant 0 plus 2y plus and this is a function of z so 2 will be jump again as in previous case uh, for this z minus c and again differentiation of z and differentiation of c separate separate separately so it is curl z divided by curl y okay minus 0 because c is a constant c treated as a constant term so it is 0 and uh, curl z divided by curl y is q so it is q so we get 2y plus 2z z minus c is equal to q so it is 2y plus 2z minus c q is equal to 0 is equal to 0 because differentiation of this r square again with respect to y is 0 now we get 2z minus c and 2z minus c uh, यहां पर हम 2z minus c की value क्या करेंगे? Drive कर देंगे. We will drive value of 2z minus c either from this equation, either from this equation. So, 2x is equal to minus 2z minus c and p. So, it can be divided by p. So, it is p. It will be cancelled out here. So, it is 2z minus 2z minus c is equal to 2x divided by p. Now put the value of z 2z minus c. Put the value of 2z minus c from this to this equation. So 2y minus uh, 2z minus c. Now 2z minus c is minus 2x divided by p. So minus 2x divided by p because 2z minus c and 2z minus c we know that it, it is equal to minus 2x divided by p. So put the value of 2z minus c from this equation. From this equation of uh, drive 2z minus c is equal to minus 2x divided by p. Then put this 2z minus c in this equation. So 2y plus and this is minus so minus 2x divided by p multiply by q is equal to 0 then multiply this 2y with p so 2y p minus 2xq is equal to 0 and it is divided by p and p multiplied by this 0 it is <coughs> 0 now take 2 and 2 common and it is also divided by 0 so it is 0 so this is our required solution okay so this is the differentiation equation differential sorry differential equation of all spare whose center lie on z x now we take another problem now it is another simple problem as previous problem now in this problem find differential equation of all spheres of radius 3 unit in previous problem radius is r having their centers in xy plane theek hai iska center line on xy plane if set center line lying on xy plane then value of uh, value of in z direction okay uh, distance in z direction will be 0 so again 
it is x minus a square plus y minus b square plus z minus c square is equal to r square and we know that radius is 3 units so it is 9 okay now center line lying on xy plane the center lying on xy plane okay it is z it is x and it is y so center lie on this plane let's say this is x and this is this is x direction and this is y direction okay so <clears throat> center lie on this plane okay and z is perpendicular to this so if center lie on this plane then the value of z will be zero or distance in the direction of z is zero therefore c will be zero distance on z direction will be zero so z will be zero now x minus a square plus y minus b square plus z square is equal to nine so this is our required uh, equation when we solved it now differentiate first with respect to x and then with respect to y to get p and q or to uh, to find differential equation so first we will differentiate with respect to x or differentiate dif uh, we will differentiate z with respect to x so it is 2 will be jump it is a function of x so it is x minus a and 2 minus 1 is 1 again differentiation of x is 1 minus differentiation of a is 0 because a is a constant plus it is constant it is constant so it is it will be 0 because we are differentiating with respect to x plus 2z differentiation of z square with respect to x 2z and again curl z with respect to curl x is equal to 0 now curl z divided by curl x is equal to p so we get 2x minus a is equal to minus 2zp now 2 and 2 cancel so we get x minus a is equal to minus zp now if again differentiate this with respect to y so it will be 0 because it is a function of x and differentiation of x is 0 and 0 plus so in this equation 2 will be jump so it is y minus b and 1 minus 0 is 1 plus 2z curl z with respect to curl y and it will be q so q is equal to 0 because it is constant so 2y minus v so 2y minus b is equal to minus 2z q now 2 and 2 is cancel each other 2 and 2 will also cancel each other no y minus b is minus z q now we get x minus a is minus z b so minus z b square minus z b square y minus b is minus z q so it is minus z q square and z minus c and z is uh, distance <coughs> from in uh, z side is 0 we are dealing with uh, at uh, center is lie on the x y plane so this distance in z direction which is c is 0 so it is plus 2 z x sorry this so it is 